we're going to talk about the distributive property with algebra tiles. So first of all, the distributive property um, basically says that for any values that you have, um, we're going to call them a, b, and c, there are variables, they could be anything. Um, when you multiply a times the quantity b plus c, you really are getting a times b plus a times c. So you're taking this number on the outside and you're multiplying it by b and you're also multiplying it by c. So we're going to do some examples of that and see what that looks like. So the thing is we want to figure out how we can use algebra tiles to show this. So when I look at this quantity right here, or this expression here, what I see is that they have a roots of b plus c. So let's do an example so that we can make sense of that not using just variables. So if we actually assign a value to each of these numbers, what would that look like? So if we had that a was 2, and then b is 3x, and c is 5. So what we really have here is two groups of 3x plus 5. That's how we would say that. The two on the outside tells us how many groups we have, and inside our parentheses tells us what is in each group. So what would that look like with algebra tiles? Let's take a look. There we go. So I'm going to get my algebra tiles, and if I have 3x, 3x tiles, and 5 ones. So there are my algebra tiles. I have 3x plus 5, but we have, what did you say, was it two groups or three groups? Two groups. We have two groups of this, so I'm going to take this one group of 3x plus 5, if it will let me here. I'll just take this again. I'm going to take that group and I'm going to make another one exactly like it. So now I have two groups of 3x plus 5, but really, what I really have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6x's and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones. So if we go back and look, at this, that makes sense because if we do 2 times 3x, two groups of 3x would be 6x. And then if we do 2 times 5, we get 10. So what we really get is 6x's and 10 ones, which is what we saw with our algebra tiles when we made those groups. Let's do another one. This time, instead of the 2, the 3x, and the 5, we're going to have 4, 2x, and 3. So again, we have four groups, and then our b value is 2x, and our c value is 3. So four groups of 2x plus 3. So let's take a look at what that would look like again. So we have 2x. and 3. There we go. So if I take that and I do this four times, there's 3, and there is our 4. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 x piles. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 tiles. So let's check to see if we get that same thing. 
four groups of two, so four times two is eight, and eight x tiles, and that's what we saw before. And then four groups of three, which would be 12, and we did have 12 one tiles. So we see 8x plus 12. We're just rewriting it in a different way, an equivalent way and more simplified.